What's going on guys? Joe from Total Justice Gaming. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button on the channel and the video. Let us know we're doing a good job and as always, please feel free to comment. I We love chatting with the community and today we are looking at another Dark Hero deck. Uh, this time it is the Elemental Master version of Zeta. So, you know, insert your Captain Planet jokes there, buy all your powers combined, blah 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 blah. So, our buddy is, of course, going to be Force Master, uh, Force Element Master Zeta. Uh, again, I was very fortunate. I have a uh, Element Zeta flag, so really happy, uh, really happy on that. We'll move right on into it. So, of course, naturally, since this is the Element Master deck, our buddy is going to be Element Master. Running four copies of him. So, we are looking at a 824 Zeta. Uh, hits numbers, which we're always good with. Uh, Zeta, of course, all Zetas have the affliction of having a very weak defense. Uh, but this is a very heavy burst damage deck. You're attempting to OTK with this, so you may not need to wor worry too much about the weak defense. So he is, again, an 824. Uh, call cost, if you need to call him, is pay 3 gauge, which that's really hefty. Uh, if you're transformed into this card, this card cannot be destroyed nor returned to hand. You cannot call monsters other than impact monsters. You may call impact monsters multiple times in one turn. Uh, one, this card attacks. If you have one fire, water, wind, and earth impact monster in your drop zone, on uh, you can put them to the bottom of your deck and burn the opponent for four damage. Uh, he also has impact transform for pay to gauge. So, we are trying to swing for 2 damage and then burn them for a total of 4, knocking them out at 6. Again, we are trying to rely very heavily on OTK tactics. Uh, this is much, much easier to achieve now with um, the new um, Dark Hero Impact Monsters that came out with the level of hero set. Uh, we are, of course, running, again, 4 of him as he is the buddy. Moving right into stuff, uh, we are going to be running four copies of the newest uh, Dark Hero. These are the Mix Monsters, as I am calling them. We are looking at Fire, Water, Demon, uh, Hydro Pyro. Uh, at a 5 to 4, he hits numbers. We're always looking for 5 or 6s, again, for the uh, attack value. Call cost pay a gauge when he the field. If you have a fire and a water in your drop zone, put a soul from a monster on the opponent's field and destroy that card. Uh, again, this is very easy to achieve as he is a fire and water, so all you got to do is just get another copy of him in the discard pile and you'll be able to achieve its effects. On top of that, he eliminates soul, which is very, very prevalent in this meta because we do have jack out. Uh, there are still. Um, other decks that are very soul heavy, such as Athora, and uh, what is another good one? Uh, there, we could be seeing a possible comeback for uh, Zodiac since that new Gara came out. So a lot of stuff can come out. Uh, again, we also are. I'm also very happy that this is not a size restricted destruction. So we eliminate a soul and blow up a monster, getting rid of another soul. So very, very good at what it does. I like that it can get rid of empty a soul very quickly. And on top of that, it sets up for Zeta very nicely, giving us two of our elements like right off the bat. So moving on, we're moving on to the next bit of our Mix Masters. Uh, we are moving on to the Windmud Mix Master. So this is Mudwind Demon Guy Nemos. Guessing that's how his name is pronounced. Uh, at a 623, so he's a little bit sturdier, uh, or a little bit more offensive, but a little bit less sturdy than Hydro Pyro. Uh, when he enters the field, if I have an earthen wind in my drop zone, return a card from my opponent's field to their hand and gain a life. Uh, life gain is really important in this deck because again, Zeta is very fragile, so. You are looking at, again, another glass cannon, potentially, because, again, Dark Heroes have this bad habit of being glass cannon decks, but we make up for it in terms of sheer power and uh, burst damage. 
On top of that, uh, we can bounce something back to the hand, meaning we got we can control the board a little bit, get those monsters that are very problematic. So we can just bounce the bots back to them, make them waste a gauge to recall bots, or um, it's say an Oni assassin, pop it back to the hand. Uh, just a number of things can happen. The possibilities on this are thing we can bounce uh, like toilets or Hanako back to the hand. Just a number of things. Uh, I really do like this monster. It hits for good numbers, gains me alive, controls their board. It's a very well round monster. Following that, we're going to be running four copies of Flame Demon Mage Excel Excellus. I apologize if I got the name wrong. Uh, 725, call cost is just pay a gauge, one years of field, destroy a monster in the opponent's field. Just a very straightforward board clear with a big attack, uh, decent credit to, uh, again, more board control, more offense to clear that, op clear that center or just, you know, blow up a board while being able to swing for decent damage. Uh, we're running out of four of because it's unrestricted size destruction. Following Kim, we're going to be running three copies of Wingo's Aerial, uh, Pay Gauge, uh, 524. Uh, when he enters the field, return a card uh, on the opponent's field back to their hand. Again, like the Wind Mud Demon, uh, lets us blow troublesome monsters back to the opponent's hand. He also has move, meaning if he sticks around, uh, I can just move him to use for defense. Following up him, we're running three copies of uh, Light Demon Posse, or Pose, however we're saying it. Uh, pay Gauge, and put the top card of your deck into this card, Soul. If you have a card with Zeta in its name on the field, he becomes an 8-8. Eight -eight. Cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. He also has uh, Soul Guard and Counterattack. Uh, so he becomes an 8-8, eight -eight, eight -two -eight, which is a very sizable wall. On top of that, he has counterattack, which is also very important. It just makes this card can be splashed in just about any deck. Uh, I chose to put my copies in my Zeta deck because uh, just the counterattack alone lets me make sure I'm always going to be able to uh, swing back on the opponent uh, with his decent numbers. It's going to be really easy to do that. Uh, furthermore, uh, the fact that he can't be destroyed by the opponent's effects is an added boon. Um, a lot of stuff has a lot of destruction now. I mean, he gets around this, and Zeta gets around this, so you'll always have board presence. He's just a very, very good card. Um, I can't stress that enough. He needs to go in just about anything you can put him in. We're running him out of three of because I'm only fortunate to have three of him, but I'm looking to get more. Uh, following him is his opposite. We're running two copies of Darkness Demon uh, Muron. Uh, 725. Uh, his call cost is pay gauge. If I have a Zeta, he becomes a 10k with a crit of 3 and penetrate. Penetrate is very important in this meta, so he definitely uh, is needed in this deck to get that burst damage out and get that little extra push. We're always going to be shooting for as much damage as possible in this deck, and he lets that happen. Uh, we got some one ups. Uh, we're splashing one of the Water Demon Kino Dias. Uh, he has no call cost. You can just put him into play. Uh, when he enters the field, enters the field I uh, make the opponent put a soul from a monster from the soul into the drop zone. Again, very important. We do have a lot of soul heavy decks running around in the meta. Uh, and then at the end of your turn, destroy this card. Uh, he also hits numbers at a 5, so we're just going to run co one copy of him. We're also one running one copy of Mon Mud Demon Eclipticon. Um, he doesn't really hit numbers, but you know he can swing for at least a point of damage, clear out some of the weaker monsters. Then, at the end of this card's battle, I can pop him to gain a gauge, which we always need because a lot of our monsters do cost a gauge. So we're running one copy of him. Uh, next up for spells, uh, we are, of course, going to be running four copies of I've Seen Through Your Moves. Uh, this is the... Uh, 
Dark Hero, Element Master, Variant Art. Again, it's our primary open open center shield. We're, of course, going to be running four copies of that. We're going to be running four copies of Artifact Talisman Find Joker. Uh, Find Joker lets me immediately go get the Zeta, which I desperately need in this deck to even start working with it. Uh, it's not as... It's pretty critical that I get Zeta as quickly as possible. So we're running four copies of this just to ensure we get it as soon as we can. Again, now we're running uh, three copies of I'm Finished With You. So as we can call multiple cards from our hand during the final phase, uh, and I need Gage in order to call out all these uh, one cost ones, uh, just swing with the monster. If it hits or doesn't, that's fine. I can, I've finished with you. Blow it up, gain a Gage, draw a card, and hopefully draw into another uh, uh, Dark Hero uh, Impact Monster to call in and then swing again and just exhaust their shield, exhaust their defenses, and this is going to ensure that we always have the gauge and the hand presence. Uh, next up, we're also going to be running three copies of Armor Talisman Finish Road. Got to read this one because I haven't read it in a bit. Uh, you can only cast this during your final phase and only if you have a Zeta. Uh, put an impact monster from your field in drop zone. Call, uh, then... Uh, cast cost is that. Then at counter speed, call an impact monster from your draw zone by paying its call cost. So I can sack a monster to get another monster out of the drop zone. This is a very important uh, card because this lets us filter and get the necessary elements we need into the drop zone very easily uh, while still maintaining board presence and attack presence. So of course I'm going to be running through this. Next up, we're going to be running three copies of Gage and Draw. Uh, discard an Impact Monster from your hand. Put the top card of your deck into your Gage and draw two cards. Uh, you may only cast um, Gage and Draw uh, once per turn. Sorry, stalled out a little bit there. So, we're running three copies of this. This again gives us Gage, lets us draw two cards, go through our deck very quickly to achieve that o potential OTK. Uh, we're really trying to dig as quickly as we can for all the monsters that we can get onto the field and just overwhelm the opponent, and this helps us make that happen. Uh, again, I stress that we do need Gage, so we're running three copies of Gage 3. I may only cast this if I have a card with Zeta or a Gem Clone on, in its name on the field. And Counter Speed, put the top three cards of your deck into your Gage. You may only cast this card once per turn. So we're doing that. Uh, we are also running two copies of Artifact Talisman Draw 2. Uh, you may only cast this during your final phase, and if you have a card with Zeta or Gem Clone in its name on the field, uh, this is pay to gauge and then draw two cards. Again, I've already stressed this. We're trying to draw as much as we can to put as much burst damage out on the field as much as possible. So we need to get this. And then finally, two copies of this of the new card, Armor Talisman Element Control. Uh, this is counter. If you have a fire on your field, deal damage to the opponent. If you have a water... Or, excuse me, if you have a fire in your drop zone, deal damage to your opponent. If you have a water in the drop zone, put the uh, top card of your deck into the gauge. If I have a wind element in the drop zone, draw a card. If I have an earth, I gain a life. So, just for having the requirements needed for Zeta, I can cast this, burn the opponent for damage, gain a gauge, gain a life, and draw a card. So, again, uh... Just a whole lot of stuff that's really, really necessary. We got, we need the gauge, we need the life because we're a glass cannon again. We need the card again to main, able to tain, uh, maintain a constant stream of damage. And the burning for the opponent for point of life is actually very neat, very good and needed. It lets us be able to get that OTK quicker just for the simple burn. Again, there are times where I could potentially just leave my opponent at one, cast this, and win the game. It's really good. I want to try and test it maybe uh, at a 3 of just to see more of it, but right now I'm pretty satisfied at a 2 of. It gets to hand pretty quick. So guys, that is the Element Master Zeta deck. Uh, now with the new dual uh, Element Demons. Again, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.